Okay guys, I'm going to start a tutorial, my first tutorial, um, on setting up a queue in Logic Pro so that my piece of music when I'm scoring to video that bar 1 starts exactly where I want it to and that bar 5 starts exactly on the frame that I want it to. Um, there's a long way to do it and I'm tired of doing it that way and here's the short and quicker way to do it. More efficient way. Um, here's a blank project I have. Um, I do have the setup um, with time code zero with the bar with the first um, very beginning first bar zero one 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 is at time code zero zero five nine five zero 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 and I want the before I say anything else let's just go get the uh, quick time that we're going to use uh, hopefully you're lucky enough to have a editor that will give you a quick time with time code burned in. There's a number of reasons why this will help. Uh, I'm not going to tell you all of them right now, but it's super, super important, especially for audio post people in general. Um, so we see here that time code is 05950. And that's the same down here, 0595000. Um, we can go into our synchronization settings and make sure that that's right. And 25, well, I'm living in Europe, so we're at 25, a lot easier than anybody else out there, Americans. Um, so there's my quick time with the blip at 5958 and the first frame of the movie that would get played in a theater or on television is at uh, time code 01000000. So um, after watching the quick time a few times you start to understand what you want and what you need um, I want to simplify this and just say that I want to have an intro that goes from the first frame and I want the downbeat to be at this frame. Okay, so first things first is we go to the first bar and we need to go to our lists. We need to create a tempo event. And here's where the easy part comes in. I want two bars of music. So there's one bar of music and two bars that have been played. I want two bars to have been played before the third bar starts. So I'm going to create a tempo event here, but I want bar three to start at time code 624. And that change this. And actually, you need to add one frame. So you can see here that Logic already calculated the tempo that it needs to fill between to have two bars of music before this frame. And there you go. That is the easy way to set up your queue. Um, now this doesn't have to be 120. Now we can say we want 
Um, I'm going to actually leave that up to another tutorial. I'm just going to look at this and see how it went. But there you go. That's my first tutorial. Whoop-de-doo.